Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eight World, and today we're going to take a quick look at the new Criminal Activity DLC for Hardline. I actually wasn't going to make this video because to be completely honest, I'm not really a big fan of the new content, but in the end I thought, what the hell? I think with the shaky release of BF Hardline, quite a lot of people had their hopes up that this DLC would save the game, but it looks as though this hasn't really happened. Criminal Activity isn't terrible, but it does have its faults, and considering a lot of people have already left the game, it's hard to justify buying it. I should point out before we start though that I really hate to make negative videos, but at the end of the day, I don't want to beat around the bush. You guys deserve to know what you're getting into when you buy a new game or DLC, and YouTubers like me are here to help you make an informed decision. If you really like Criminal Activity, or if you disagree with anything I say in this video, feel free to let me know in the comments section below, but just remember that this is only my opinion. I've got nothing against the devs or Hardline in general, but I'm just personally not a huge fan of the new DLC, and these are just a few of the reasons why. So to kick off, in a nutshell, Criminal Activity adds four new maps, as well as a bunch of new weapons and the Bounty Hunter game mode. The concept and design of the new content is all pretty solid, but once again balancing is a big problem and most of the maps and weapons just don't feel right. Also the release of the DLC on PC has been delayed to at least the 22nd of June, which is another big blow for a game that's already suffering on this platform. To compensate for this, PC players will be awarded with a free gold battle pack, but I think it's safe to say that most players still aren't very happy. I've been playing the DLC maps with no issue on PS4 though, but that being said, the new maps aren't very fun because they're way too small for 64 players. There's a definite lack of satisfying gunfights on these maps because most of the time, you're either going to get shot in the back or you'll end up head to head with 3 or 4 enemy players. Finding DLC servers on PS4 is also pretty hard in the first place, and considering PS4 has the biggest player base, clearly all of the other platforms are going to suffer from this even more. When the DLC finally does release for non-premium members, I think there will be a spike in the player base, but even so, over time I think these new maps are going to die off pretty quickly. Now, as for the new weapons, well, in this DLC the devs have added in a bunch of new shotguns and battle rifles, which are obviously exclusive to the Enforcer kit. There's also the brand new M1A1 Tommy Gun, which is available to all kits, but in general it's pretty underpowered and I think it's only been added as a gimmick weapon. The Fowl isn't bad as far as battle rifles go, but pretty much all of the other new guns don't really add any flavour to the game that isn't there already. Also, the fact that nearly all of the new weapons are for the Enforcer kit kind of sucks as well because pretty much everyone is only running the Enforcer at the moment. Apparently the devs are planning on focusing the upcoming DLCs on each particular kit, which means it could be months before your favourite kit gets new weapons. Not just that, but every time a new DLC gets released, it means that for a period of time the game is going to be unbalanced, with players primarily running that one particular kit. The only really good thing about the new DLC weapons is that none of them require stupid assignments to unlock, but that being said, they don't require any assignments at all. If you've got enough cash, you can pretty much unlock them all straight away, so there isn't that feeling of achievement you get from unlocking guns in previous Battlefield games. So, bearing all of this in mind, is it actually worth buying this DLC? Well, honestly, probably not. Hardline is a fun game and the player base is far from dead on the PS4, but I just don't think Criminal Activity is really worth the money. After a few rotations of the new maps, the balancing issues really start to bug you, and after a while you'll be back to using the vanilla guns as well. There just isn't enough here to keep you interested for more than a day or two, and like what happened after the release of the base game, players are likely to start moving back to BF4 when they've had enough of this DLC. As for premium, well if you don't already have it, it may still be a good investment in the long run, but I don't think I'd buy it just to pick up this DLC. BF4 had some pretty average DLC maps too, but in the long run I think premium was worth it for that game when you take into consideration all of the content. The recent BF4 Spring Patch is proof that devs can rebalance pretty much everything to revitalise a game, so I still have hope that they'll do something like this to Hardline as well. Until then though, Hardline will always be a good game, but it won't be a truly great game, which kind of sucks, because I think this game is capable of so much more. But anyway guys, let me know what you think of Criminal Activity in the comments section below, and as always, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description below if you want to see more of my videos, or if you'd like to support my channel on Patreon, and until next time, see you later, and have a good one.